Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 transformers and in this video we are going to understand one topic which is energy losses in transformer. So in this video we are going to understand this four different ways in which energy is lost in the transformer which is flux leakage and energy loss due to the resistance of winding then hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So first of all, we will recall the transformer construction little bit. So as we know that the uh, transformer has one core. So that is the core. And uh, that core is made with the help of a ferromagnetic material that you know very well. It has one uh, primary winding which is made with copper wire. To the primary winding you are giving the power input. And due to the mutual induction process whatever power you are transmitting that power is given to what? To the secondary winding. So over here on the secondary winding you will get power output. Now as we know that uh, if you will supply 100 kilowatt of power to the primary winding then among that 100 kilowatt power say only 95 kilowatt power you can transfer to the secondary winding as 5 kilowatt power is wasted due to the energy loss. Now, which type of energy losses are there that we will discuss in this video. So, first energy loss is there which is known as flux leakage. Now, flux leakage means what? That we will understand with the help of a diagram. As we know that in the primary winding, we are supplying AC current and we know that AC current is changing its direction and magnitude. That's my, that means we are supplying variable current or changing current to this primary winding. Okay. Now, whatever current that we are supplying, due to that what's happened? We know that whenever you will supply a current from the wire, so uh, magnetic field lines are produced. So over here, magnetic field lines are produced like this. Like this also, magnetic field lines are produced in the upward direction suppose. Okay, now this type of magnetic field lines are changing and this type of changing magnetic field lines or you can say flux, changing flux is transferred to the secondary winding and due to that change in flux in secondary winding, EMF is induced. So over here, whatever magnetic field lines you are produced or whatever flux you are produced among that say only 80 percentage flux we can transfer to the secondary winding say remaining this 20 percentage of flux that is remaining 20 percentage of flux or magnetic field lines you cannot transmit to the secondary winding so that on secondary winding say 20 percentage energy is lost why because over here on primary side 20 percentage of flux is leaked so that leakage of flux is considered as loss so that is why among 100 kilowatt power say 95 kilowatt power you can transmit why because 20 percentage flux on secondary side is wasted so that is the meaning of flux leakage now to minimize the flux leakage we have to use ferromagnetic material which is soft iron that we are using but in the older days whatever core is there that is constructed with aluminium material in which flux leakages are more. Okay. So that is the first energy loss. Now we will move with the next energy loss which is loss due to the resistance of winding. Okay. Now, how energy is lost due to the resistance of winding that we will try to understand that we know that primary and secondary windings are made with the copper and we know that copper has some resistance and if you will supply the current 
from the copper wire. So what's happen? Energy is lost in terms of heat in copper wire according to I square R T. So that much energy is lost in terms of heat. So that is loss of energy. That much energy is lost. Say 20 percentage energy is lost. So that 100 percentage power or energy you cannot transmit. So if you want to minimize this loss. So for that purpose you have to decrease the resistance. And if you want to decrease the resistance, then only that loss will be minimum, then only maximum power you can transmit. So if you want to decrease the resistance, then what you have to do? You have to take such a wire having minimum resistance or you can say low resistive wire you should consider. But already we are using copper wire which has also low resistance. Then what we should do? So for that purpose, we know one thing that resistance R is equals to rho L by A where rho is the resistivity of a material which is constant, L is the length of the wire. So in the case of binding length is also constant. So remaining is what cross section area of the wire. So if you will increase the cross section area of the wire, then resistance will be decreased. And if resistance will be decreased, so that heat loss will be decreased so that maximum power you can transmit. So over here, if you will take high cross section area of wire means what? You have to take thick wire. If you will take thick wire, then only resistance will be low. Then only that losses will be low. Maximum power you can transmit. But uh, if you will consider the thick wire for primary and for secondary winding, then what's happened? The cost of the transformer will be increased and that we don't want. So that is why remember one thing that whatever thick wire you are taking that thick wire you have to take on such side where current is high so among these two side where current is high on that side you have to consider what thick wire how with the example we'll try to understand if i will talk about step up transformer so step up transformer will do what step up means low to high voltage supposing that will be primary side that will be secondary side so over here voltage is low so e is low and over here high means e is high we know very well that uh, whatever emf is there or voltage is there that is inversely proportional to current that means if voltage is high then current will be low so on the secondary side current will be low and over here voltage uh, potential or emf is low so current is that is low so current is high so current is high that means in the case of step up transformer on primary side current is high and we have to take thick wire on such side where current is high. So for the case of step up transformer always thick wire is taken on the primary side that is your primary side. Similarly if I will talk about step down transformer so step down transformer will do what whatever high voltage is there that it will convert into a low voltage so over here that is primary side that is secondary side over here primary side voltage is high and on the secondary side voltage or emf is low if emf is low then current will be high emf is low so current will be high so that is why in the case of step down transformer on secondary side as current is high we are taking what we are taking thick wire for what purpose to decrease the resistance so that heat losses will be decreased so that maximum power you can transmit so that is all about the two cases that how energy is lost in the case of transformer now we'll discuss about third case and that third case is known as hysteresis loss so first of all i will make the heading over here third one that is hysteresis loss now hysteresis loss means what that as we know that on the primary side we are supplying which type of current alternating current means uh, changing current and due to that changing current what's happen whatever magnetic field lines are produced that magnetic field lines are also changing its direction 
and due to that whatever core material is there that core material undergoes with uh, magnetization and demagnetization so due to the magnetization and demagnetization of the core material hysteresis losses will take place so that 100 percentage power you cannot transmit so to minimize this hysteresis loss we have to use ferromagnetic material and we have two ferromagnetic materials for basically first one is the uh, soft iron and uh, next is steel but we are preferring soft iron why so first we'll draw it's a hysteresis loss diagram so diagram would be like this okay so in this direction that point that is known as what that is magnetization okay and over here what's happened that will be your demagnetization Okay, so due to the changing magnetic field lines, magnetization, demagnetization, magnetization, demagnetization, what's happened? Some hysteresis loss is there. How much hysteresis loss? So area covered by this diagram, that much hysteresis loss is there. Similarly, if we'll draw the hysteresis loss diagram for this steel, so it will be like this. Thicker than this, again magnetization, demagnetization, hysteresis loss is that. How much hysteresis loss? Area covered by this diagram. So, from the figure we can say that in the case of steel, more hysteresis loss is there compared to soft iron. So, that is why to minimize the hysteresis loss, we have to use soft iron as a core material. So, that is the case of uh, hysteresis loss. Now, last case for energy loss is known as eddy current loss so first of all we'll make the heading number four that eddy current loss so to understand this first we'll understand the meaning of eddy current eddy current means what once again we know very well what that uh, over here Alternating current means uh, changing current we are passing. So due to that what's happened magnetic field lines are changing that means flux is changing and that is uh, that much changing flux is linked with the uh, secondary coil. So in secondary coil current is induced which is necessary. But wait this type of changing flux is also linked with this core material also. So, in the core material also, some current is induced. So, the current which is induced in the core material is known as eddy current. So, if I want to show the eddy current, so it would be like this, that is core material. Eddy current will be like this, in the form of a circular loop. Sometimes, current will move from inside and go to again inside like this. Supposing that is the surface, the current will be produced from inside and it will go inside. Again, if I will draw like this also, produced from inside, going to inside. So, this type of uh, circular loop is there. That means that loop will be like this. That is, suppose, bore. So, current will produce over here and then going again inside of this. Okay, so that type of circular loop or current which is uh, induced inside of the core material due to the change in flux is known as eddy current. Supposing if uh, resistance of this core material is suppose R and eddy current is suppose IE, then in the core material, whatever energy is there that is lost in form of again heat, which is equals to in form of I e square R T, I square R T. I e means what? It is a eddy current. R means what? Resistance of this core material. Okay. So that much energy is lost so that uh, we cannot transmit 100 percentage power to the uh, secondary side. Now, if you want to minimize this eddy current loss, so you have to decrease the value of eddy current. Now, if you want to decrease the value of eddy current, at that time you will use laminated. Uh, core with insulating liquid. 
so if you want to minimize the eddy current loss or if you want to minimize the eddy current at that time you will use laminated core with insulating liquid now laminated core with insulated lifting liquid means what so for that purpose now we will not take the three dimensional core instead of three dimensional core we will take two dimensional plates how so as for example over here i will draw this type of plate only two dimensional plate only this type of two dimensional plate only okay after that on this plates i will apply what i will apply the insulating liquid like this after that i will take one more plate that plate i will provide on the another plate over here over here i will plate the another uh, place the another plate again i will apply the insulating liquid then i will apply the another plates that means plate by plate what we are doing we are laminating the core one by one we are laminating the core with the help of what with the help of insulating liquid so that is the meaning of laminated core with insulating liquid now advantage is what that advantage is that that whatever eddy current will produce that will produce only on the surface it will produce only on the surface that means what that whatever eddy current which is produced on one plate cannot be entered into a second plate why because first and second plate both are laminated with the help of a insulating material so that intensity of eddy current is decreased so that heat loss due to the eddy current is decreased so that eddy current loss may be minimized so these are the four ways in which energies are lost in the case of transformer so now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much